Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are starting the day off at the glorious site of Walmart, the place we get we've gotten kicked out of several times. We're gonna roll the dice here. Um, but we are going to attempt to catch some catfish today, in particular bullheads or maybe even some carp. We're gonna head back to the tunnel at the farm where we trapped the bullheads and we fed them to the pet fish pond bass that were in there. Um, we're gonna go back and try to catch the bigger ones, the round milks. I'm convinced there's bigger ones in there. We got Bonzo right now. Okay. Coronavirus. Yeah, you know. It. Yeah, that's true. I don't true. have it, but I don't want it, and I want to that spread it if I do have it, but I don't. Yeah. Anyways, he's looking like Joe Exotic. If you guys want this, I'll link it down below. You guys can go check it out. It's a Joe Exotic face mask. Face mask looks pretty freaking sick. Um, but like I said, we're gonna go into Walmart and get some catfish and stuff, get some carp fish and stuff. I don't even know how to catch catfish or carp, um, but I'm assuming they're gonna have some stuff there. I mean, we're just gonna buy a bunch of different stuff, start chucking them in the water and hoping for the best. You guys stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna start off in the fishing section. Okay, right off the gate, I see catfish stuff. Jug option. Carp, oh, what, this is strawberry, look at this. Carp and catfish bait. Interesting. Cause I wanna catch carp too, I don't know how to catch carp. Okay, so it tells you, it says, need bait on the hook, completely cover the hook, dip hook in water before casting. And that's it, that's pretty much it, okay. So, there you go, sorry about that. We got something for catfish and carp, which is what I wanted. What else they got, they got anything else that looks appetizing? I kinda wanna buy one, oh, I'm so sorry about that. I wanna find a uh, kit. The kits are a little bit easier, cause it has, oh, here we go, on this side maybe. Nope, that's for, that's for crappy. I need a kitty cat. They, they've got to have a kitty cat kit because it's got all the hooks, the weights, all the. I mean, I've got some with me, but like, you know, you could always use more. So there's really nothing, huh? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? How does Walmart not have a catfishing kit? Oh, there's there's another kit down here. It could be could be for catfish. Yep. There you go. Catfish tackle kit. See, I wasn't lying. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's got the bell and everything. It's got the bell, the whistles, the whole nine. Well, I think that's pretty much it. We actually, I'll, let's give it a little recap here. I didn't show you guys everything, but now I'll show you guys everything. We actually got a trot line. Don't know if we're gonna run that today or not, but we got that. The those, that strawberry stuff, bunch of bobbers, whole catfish kit, bunch of snow things for bluegills, whatever. I mean, again, I don't even know what's in here. I don't know what we're gonna catch. We're gonna target catfish today. Um, but then we're gonna go to like the normal human food section and get some stuff that I've heard works. I've heard corn works, hot dogs chicken livers, chicken breasts. I've heard all that stuff works. So we're gonna go over and see what we can find. I'm hoping they have chicken livers because I feel like that's that's a pretty good bet. Nice bloody chicken liver and uh, let's see what we can find. We just about get, get, get yeah. kicked out or what? Karen over there is about to kick She's us out. She's pissed. Oh, she was... What did you get, Zweenies? Yeah. If you were a catfish, what kind of weenie would you put in your mouth? What uh, kind is it? Uh, it's the cheapest ones, 98 cents. Bar wow, balling on a budget. Yeah. I'm going, we're also gonna get some bread. Kind of forgot about that. That's also a strap when it comes to catfish, carp or whatever. But yeah, I don't know, Karen liver? Karen was pissed. Yeah, we need to keep going. She's she saw me hold the camera and started she started chasing us so we ran we're hiding in the bread aisle currently we're just gonna hide low all right karen coast is clear karen's not here we're getting some corn oh they didn't have chicken livers what the hell man oh, whole kernel sweet corn you, you think that you think that's a deal yeah whole kernel sounds big yeah like you know a big chunk of corn so we got a can of corn Should we get the one that what has the, the easy open Yes. Yeah. Would that be smart? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, probably paid. it's why someone gets paid the big bucks, make the executive decision versus having the uh, <laughs> little can opener versus the pop tab. Think smarter, not harder, folks. We got everything we need. We need to go get lunch, so I'm freaking starving. And then we're going to go do some catfish. You guys stay tuned. Hola amigos. Look at this sombrero. All right. We're not we're not out here getting sunburned. Look, farmer's tan, okay? We're not I'm not trying to burn this, okay? Skin cancer is nobody's friend. And uh well, we've got everything laid out here. We're going to start getting rigged up. Like I said, we bought a bunch of different baits and tackle and gear and all sorts of good stuff. So we're going to we're going to give her heck out here. I've never tried to catch a bull fit, bullhead in my life. I have no idea how to do it. I know how to catch a catfish. I'm not good at it. And uh we're going to get some of this stuff rigged up and then head on over to the uh, little, little tunnel area. See what we can catch. You like left or right? Uh, I'm here for you, so whichever you want to use, I'll use the other one. You want to use a right-hander? Sure. You can switch it back if you want. No, I'm good. You're good. Okay, so if you were catfish, what would you put in your mouth, Bonzo? What are you feeling? So here's our options, okay? So we went to Walmart. It's a little Walmart challenge here. Wonder Bread, which is what the UK boys taught me a couple years back about the carp. Not necessarily catfish. Whole kernel corn. Good option. And some weenies. Oh, and oh, oh, we're not done yet. Strawberries. We got the strawberries, which is for catfish and carp. So you got four options. What are you going with, Rick? The wiener. You want a wiener? Yep. You've got a, well, got you've got the, the, you've got got a little bigger hook. hook so, so that's, I thought a that's wiener a, would be good for That's it. a good idea. So as you guys may or may not know, the old bullhead that we're going after, which again, there could be largemouth bass in this for all we know. We don't know. This is a body water that's been here for years. It's not like this is just like flood water. So we could be catching whatever, but uh, bullhead I think is mainly what's in here and they don't get that big. So we're going to go with just a small little end piece. Oh, the end piece is perfect. Just like this. This is how we're rigging this. Okay. Take the end of your winky and 
shove the hook in it. That's it. It's all she wrote, folks. Work. With the bobber, and we might have to adjust the depth, but I think that's a good depth to start. So you're going wiener. Yep. I ah uh, mmm. Mmm. I gotta go. I'm gonna go artificial. It I mean it says it's magic bait, so you gotta try it. Strawberry. Everybody loves Can a good old fashioned it strawberry. Like strawberries? I bet it's edible. Let's see what it says. It don't, it don't say that it's. you're not supposed to eat it. Second person, to, the last person to catch a fish has to eat that. Do you really want to stick that in your mouth? Do you, do you know what this is made How out of? How bad can it be? Yeah, but what if it's got poison in it? What if, what if we die? I feel like they would say that. This is worse than Corona. Oh, dude, that smells good. Smell that. It smells like dank. It's... Never mind, I can't say that. All right, so I'm going to go with this little nugget. I think it floats. I think that's the strat. It might float, it might not, but I'm going to run the hook through it. And then what you're supposed to do is cover the hook entirely like this and then you're supposed to dip it before you cast it so we're gonna head on over and see what we can catch all right we're both starting right here i'm gonna make mine the same day hey oh, relax i was I'm gonna, dipping mine I'm gonna make you got a wiener you don't need to dip yours all right we're going same depth ish and on three we're gonna we're gonna drop and see who can catch a fish first ready sure. get it ready ready one two three. Oh wow oh wow oh wow what's going on What's going on here? Well, that was sick. Probably could have Googled how to catch bullheads prior to this event. But that's just too easy. That's we gotta we gotta work harder than that. I think they're uh, they're allergic to strawberries. I just assumed all the other stuff would work. I mean, a nightcrawler might work too. I don't know. They don't like the strawberry though. I'm just waiting for something to yank it out of my hand. I don't. I just don't know. I don't know how to catch them. Should we Google it? Did we buy the wrong bait? Are they here? Did they leave? There's a chance they left. Oh, oh I got oh, you. you. Got oh. me. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Now we got it figured out here. First time fishing here, folks. Welcome to another episode. Oh, there's a tide pole right here. Really? See that guy? Oh, yeah, he's swimming. Grab him. I don't want to pull in. Ah, oh, Dad. I definitely, oh, I got a nibble. I got a nibble. It's on the bottom. I threw it down to the bottom. Oh. See, he's tugging. He's tugging. They're, they're munch. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, snap. No. All right. They might be little. They might be little, but it's a bottom deal. Oh, I lost my wiener. Your wiener, let's. Oh yeah, open up a fresh one right here. I'm switching it up. Oh, that's, that's some <laughs> some rank corn. How strong you gotta be to open this thing? Look at that corn action. I'm going, I'm downsizing folks. You got one. Oh, Bonzo, Bonzo got one. You're kidding me, you're kidding me. On the hot dog. Shoo! Look, Look at, at that. that guy. Is that your first ever bullhead? Yes it is. That's a good size bullhead. Do I lip them? Sure. I don't know if they have teeth or not. No, they don't. Just, uh, yeah, don't touch their sides. They got yeah. little spikies. Look at the little bullhead action. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let him, let him eat it on the bottom, and is I that, just let him take it? it. That's the deal. And then finally he got it. Yeah, I bet there's tons of these size. Look at that. So today we're out here just catching them for fun. We're not going to do a catch cook on these guys. And that size right there is too big to keep to feed to our pet bass. Um, and we don't, I mean, I don't really have a need to raise them. They're pretty invasive in ponds. They can overpopulate really quickly. So it's not something I want to inter introduce to my actual ponds. So we're going to go ahead and throw them back. But good job. First one, baby, on the old winky. So as I was saying before Bonzo caught a fish, I'm going to the corn. I'm gonna throw a couple pieces. I might have a chance at catching a small one, maybe even small enough to take home to feed our bass, but a couple little kernels of corn. I think this is gonna be the magic. I've got a nibbler right now, so he's, he's, he's nibbling. Bonzo gave me the hot tip of letting him eat it, so we're gonna let him eat it. He's playing with that corn right now. He doesn't have it. He sure wants that corn, but he hasn't quite swallowed it yet. Look at him. Look, and I'm just playing with it. The problem is there's probably like 4.3 trillion little guys that can't even get this hook in their mouth. So they're going to play with it until a big one comes by and gets it, which is what I think happened to Bonzo. So we just got to give it. Oh, I just, I can see them. I can see them. They also might be hitting my split shot. That's also another option because there's a split shot on there. They might be hitting that. I just saw some swimming right here. The old Mondo optic. It's like x-ray freaking vision in this water right now. I can see everything. Got one. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Bonzo, yeah. I have to get an award for this. I snagged him. Look at that. I mean, that's good bass candy. I accidentally snagged him right in the tail. He's bleeding. And we're not going to keep this guy. We got to let him go back because he might he might be KO'd. I didn't mean to snag him. I, just, I thought I had a bite. Look at this guy. You got to be careful with these guys, though. Their side fins and their top fin have points on them and that of poison. You're not going to die, but it hurts really bad. So you don't want to touch that. See if I can just give him a little flick of the wrist back in the water here. That is a flare fish if I've ever seen one. That's a big one. All right. Yep. See you later, dude. I'm a machine. I mean... Oh, was that English? I'm sure it'll be all right. I'm going to go grab a wiener, though. I'm, I think your wiener pattern is the deal. Got it. Oh, you got, got it. it. Did it oh, oh, rip. Did he break me off or what? Nope, he just fell off. Stole my wiener. Bonzo just had his wiener touched and stolen, so I'm going to throw mine down there and see if it works. Oh, yeah. Dude, they're 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 firing up. They they are a huge fan of the hot dog. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh we got him. Biggin. Oh, snap. Look at this guy. 
What up, Junior? That's probably one of the first bullets I've ever caught with a rod and reel. I don't know if I ever have, to be honest with you. They're weird looking things. I mean, they're like, a, it's a catfish, but it's like not a catfish, but it is a catfish, but it's, I don't know what these things are, but they're fun to catch. This is a good time, folks. All we're missing is a couple cold adult beverages. Wow, you could have yourself a good time out here. All right, go try to release this guy without dying. Hey, hey, Rick, Rick. There we go. See you later, dude. Boom. It was, it's the wiener. It's automatic. I'm gonna go grab that whole pack and just leave it here. Can't see my bobber. I'm just, I'm just gonna wait. I'm letting my bobber do the old drifty drifty through the tunnel here. I'm just gonna wait till the rod get, I'm just gonna wait for the rod to get yanked out of my hand here. Oh, I definitely have a bite. Oh, I got a bite too. Oh, oh we, oh, Bonzo, which one's gonna catch first? Oh, definitely me. We, we've each got a bite. Come on, fish. Eat that hot dog. Look at him, he's turning, he's turning. Ah, oh, rip. You still got your bite? Yep. It's a slow one. It's a slow one. He's, it's a he's nibble. He's nibbling on it. Oh, I've got something tugging on the hot dog there, folks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on, fish. Oh, look at it spinning that bobber around. Yep. Come on. You got to eat it all the way. All the, get that hook all the way down there, buddy. You got to be patient with these little catfish. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Bonzo's got one from the deep. <gasps> oh, he's got a big one. Oh, he's oh, got yeah. a big one. Oh, yeah. Out deep. Bonzo went out deep. I got one, too. We got doubles. Doubling up. Oh, God. Oh. We got a little guy. Hold up. Here we go. Double up on the old whisker. So whisker, big whisker was out deep, huh? Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? I caught him by the whisker. Look at that guy. You ever catch a catfish by the whisker? You have to be as good as me, all right? You gotta be real good at this catfish game. That's not a bad little bullhead. Yeah. Comment down below, what should we do with these bullheads? Besides a catch and cook, because, you know, we're obviously gonna do that at some point, but, you know, something else besides a catch and cook. What do you do with these guys? Do they make good bait for something else? Other catfish, maybe? I don't know how to grab these things without dying. See you later, dude. Boom. Boom, Bonzo and I doubled up. I'm gonna go out deep. I'm going after Biggins now. We're not messing around, folks. Biggins only. Got another one. This is too easy. Now this is my kind of fishing. Bonzo, this is, you're killing it right now. I guess. I'm gonna see if these guys like some bread. Bonzo, we're just gonna call you Cat Lord. Ow, he bit down on me. Kinky boy. Look at this guy, look at it. he's like bites down with his mouth. He's not a fan of you. You gonna call me bullhead boy, is that what you said? Sure, that's what they call you. Sure. Hit my sombrero. All right, see you later, dude. Oh, what's this? What's going on right now? What's all the turbulence about? What what made that come out? Dude, that had to have been a huge fish. That was a big wave. That must have been a huge fish to make that kind of commotion. Oh, hear him? Hear him? I bet I can get them to eat right here. They're not eating. They're not eating the bread. There's something that lives in this tunnel that's huge. I mean, that, like, the current was going this way, and all of a sudden it went, and it started ripping the other way. I don't know what did it. I'm gonna go investigate on the other side. Yo, Bonzo's hooked up. Shoo! There we go. You made it look too easy, my guy. Bullhead boy, at it again. He's killing it. Is this Ranger Rick? All right, chilling, dude. Ow! Is he biting you? Kinky yeah. boy. You always got these kinky catfish. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Bad dog. Oh, gosh. All right, we finally got her. See you later, dude. He's so funny, throwing bread at me. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's a good throw. That's overhead. <laughs> you kinky boy. Oh, it's it's a monster. Ready? Ready? Take it. Take it. It's messing with me. All right, cool. Yeah, that was fun. Ready? 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 We got it. We got it. Well, that's like the twenty bull bullhead today. Andrew's just down there walking, doing his thing. That's a kegger. You're king kegger. Yeah. Hey, in case you're curious, uh, nothing in here likes bread. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, no bread left. I pretty much threw like an entire loaf. I saw some bait out there, like a bunch of these little guys, but I don't know what to do. If we, if we, I don't know how to catch carp. I, we, we know how to catch bullheads though. There's wieners. But I forgot to mention, we do have some traps out here. Um, you got, if you guys saw the first video, we came trapping here. Uh, we put traps in. Basically, we have them out there right now. So we still need to check them. So after you get this thing untangled here, I totally forgot about it until I walked over there. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot we got traps. So we'll check them traps. All right, so like I said, I totally forgot. We got two traps here and one trap there, same spot. Dude, look at, you see them? That's them. Can you guys see this? Do I need to give you mondo optic vision real quick? Does that work? Can you guys see those clouds in the water? Look at that. Right straight ahead. I don't know if you guys can see that. Those are all bullheads. And that's why you don't want them in your ponds, because they overrun it. Like, I can see one cloud, two cloud, three cloud, four, five, six, seven cloud. We need to bring the cast net. There's one right here, right in front of us. Two, three. They're all right here. They're, oh, they're, they're splashing. They're eating stuff. This is nuts. Anyways, I bet our traps are absolutely full, because all the bait's sitting right here. All the little bullheads. Come on, big chungus. Give me, give me the goods here. We got one? We got one? We got one. Well, that ain't worth much. 
We're gonna throw him back. Let's try this one. All right, let's see. This one caught a lot last time we trapped here. Oh, we got a few, don't we? Oh, we got bluegill. Two, two sunfish. Oh, hell yeah, that's a good, that's a good eating size too for our uh, little pet fish. We're gonna take this guy home, 100%. There's, uh, I'll see if I can get him out and show you guys. That's the first, see I told you there could be literally anything in here. There's literal, like bluegills, actual bluegills in here. And as long as they're under five inches, we can keep them. Look at this little guy. That is a perfect snack size meal for our little bat. I, I need to go get a cooler and fill it with some water and bring it out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock them back up and throw it back out there and hopefully they stay in there. We need to go get a cooler. But that way at least, hey, we got some fish to take home. All right, third and final trap. What do we got? Dude, another bluegill. What the heck? That's a big size one too. Or is that a green sunfish? Green sunfish. Oh yeah, baby. Our pet bass's favorite. Shoo! All right, well, we're gonna put him back too. And uh, we gotta go grab a cooler, stick these guys in. Is that a master angler? Lonzo just caught an absolute kegger. That is by far the biggest. Yeah. I mean, that probably weighs like a solid pound, pound and a half yeah. maybe. That is a giant bullhead. Cheese and rice. We just got done checking the traps and Bonzo screamed, came running over and that's big This is absolutely fun. That, this is, yeah, this is, this is like I said, this is a good time. I'm not, I'm not pissed about this. But like I said, I'd like to do something else besides the catch and cook. Can't do that today, but let me know what you guys think we should do with these guys. Uh, like I said, I don't think you're supposed to stock them in ponds, but not really sure. But hey, we caught a green, we caught a green sunfish and a bluegill over there. So really? we, we've got something to feed our pet bass when we get back home. Shoo! How's it going folks? Made it back home. How's it going, pigs? You guys are all muddy. Did you enjoy your little mud? Look at them. Look how excited they are. What? Oh, chill, Rick. Cheese and rice. Look at all. Oh, my. They destroyed that today. You guys get all muddy? You want me to turn the hose back on? It's dried out a little bit. It's still, I mean, it's still pretty muddy over there, but you guys have destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Look at all. Oh, they even messed up the fence. I probably should... I should fix the fence. I don't even know if it's working right now because they pushed all that in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn their turn their little hose on so I can get a bubble bath here since it's pretty stinking warm out today. It's one of the warmer days we've had in a little while. Oh yeah, oh yeah, get in there, buddy. Shoo, look at them. They freaking love it out here. Look at them wagging their tail. You like the cold water? Look at that. You guys realize you guys have a water system over there, right? You don't have to drink the muddy water if you don't want to. If you want to, you can. I mean, they're just taking it in the face. Look at that. Look how happy they are. Look at all that mud. Two happy pigs rolling around in the mud. Nothing better. But anyways, we need to release these fish. We've got a couple, uh, well, we got the green sunfish and then the normal sunfish. And hopefully our bass cooperate here and uh, crunch on these fish. Come here, little Ricky. Oh, the water's freezing still. Got one, what'd I get? Oh, the old greenie. All right, come here, Junior. Oh, rip. One more, come here, come here, Junior. Come here, Junior, sometime today. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah. don't, ah, don't, don't do it, don't spike me. There we go, all right, there we go. Regular sunfish and the green sunfish. The, uh, we've had a little algae bloom here in the pond, so I don't know if you guys are gonna see this or not. I'll try to throw them right up close, see if they eat this guy. Come on. Oh, he, he's hiding. That's cheating. He went under a rock. That's cheating. All right, I'll throw this guy in the middle then. Come on, come on, come on. Got, oh! He crushed it! Was that the bigger one? Dude, that was the green sunfish. That's huge. <laughs> I have no idea if you guys can see that. We have a terrible algae bloom. I got scared this bluegill out then. Hey, you're not hiding, Rick. Come on. Oh, I got him. I caught him. Wow. Can you believe I just caught that? Yeah. All right. Ready for this? Oh, crushed! Crushed! Oh my gosh, I'm so, I, I, it sucks that you guys cannot see this right now. I assume you guys cannot. Oh my gosh, these bass. They're absolutely murking. We built this little ledge so the fish would come up. The bass are now to the point where they'll eat on command, but they won't like come up and get it out of your hand. Bluegill's gone, green sunfish gone. I have, like these fish are just, I mean, they're animals out here. They're absolutely crazy. But hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Again, let me know besides like the whole catch and cook, should we be feeding these guys the bullheads? I mean, the, the ones that are too big for these guys to eat, what should we do? Should we throw them in the pool and just like grow them as big as we possibly can? Or are they good for bait for other catfish? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.